Good morning, it's Friday, February the 4th. It's Jeremy, I'm just down at Harbourfront at uh, Spadina Key. As you can see, it's pretty cold today. The lake is frozen. And today we're looking at uh, using the RTL SDR on SDR Angel, which is a very powerful program. And we're gonna look at AIS and ADSB on a local map. So uh, what I've got set up here is I've got two RTLs. This is version two with a metal case and a whip antenna. And this is version three. This is the one from RTLSDR.com, which has the HF capability. So I'm using the first one to receive AIS on 162 megahertz. And then I've got two AIS mods, one at 25 kilohertz below for 87B and one at 25 kilohertz above for 88B. And this guy here I've got set up for 1090 for the ADSB. So uh, we can see the local map here. I've got a bunch of contacts. And uh, let's scroll out a little bit. And you can see them here. Uh, there's quite a few contacts here. If you click on each one, it gives you the um, details of what, uh, what the uh, contact is. Now I'm gonna go inside uh, to do the uh, ADSB because it's pretty cold. Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, January the 4th, and today we're going to look at RTLSDR receiving AIS and ADSB, and we're going to look at it on a local map. Uh, in our last post, we looked at AIS on the um, RTLSDR using SDR Angel, and we look at it on Open CPN. This time we're going to look at it out on the, open, on the um, local map because we can see the ADSB and the AIS at the same time. So let's just quickly look at the setup here. We're using SDR Angel and I've set the receive frequency. I'm using the RTL SDR uh, version 2 metal case. Uh, it's fairly accurate. The PPM is set at zero. Receive frequency is 162 megahertz. You can see here the 87B and 88B channels, and you can see pulses on each of them. Here's my AS and demodulator on the uh, 162.025, and you can see messages uh, there. There's one contact, MMSI, and then if I slide over here, we can see the other demodulator. There's the other demodulator on 161.975. And it's got some received messages and some off there as well. So let's look at the local map. So here's our local map. Incidentally, on the scope here, you can see the pulses. These are the 9.6 kilosamples per second GMMSK pulses. So there's my location up in North Toronto. I can't receive AIS up there because of all the buildings in the way. But I can uh, zoom in here. So there's Toronto Harbour. So right now it looks like we're getting uh, three contacts. We can click on that one. And that tells us some information about that uh, contact. And there's this one here. Radium yellow knife. It's a tug, it's moored. Let's see this one here. So there's the contacts there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ADSB going and we're going to look at ADSB and AIS on the same map. Okay, so right now I'm receiving ADSB and AIS on the uh, local map feature. So for instance, there's two AIS contacts right there and there's uh, Air, aircraft contact that was there a minute ago. I guess it's gone. Let's see how we're set up here. So on R0, R0 is my first RTL SDR, and it's set up at 162 uh, with the two decoders, the two AIS decoders at plus 25 and minus 25 kilohertz. And right now they're receiving a bunch of contacts here. And on R1, R1, I have my second uh, RTL SDR set up. 
it's set up at 1090 uh, to receive ADSB. I've got the full sampling rate of 2.4 mega samples per second on. And uh, right now we have no contacts. There, there you go. There's a contact there. So call sign JZA 780. Now I'm sitting in I'm sitting in Starbucks here, and I've just got uh, two simple uh, RTLs as my receivers. Okay, so here we have um, an aircraft ACA 682. I've also got. Also got open sky set up on an internet connection so we can just see um, what planes are in my local vicinity. I'm in a Starbucks down in Spadina Key, so I should be able to see this guy and maybe this guy here. Let's go back here to SDR Angel. Okay, so I'm looking here at the ADSB local map, and here's some nice features on the map. These are the various aircraft that are seen right now. But here's another feature for the airport. You can actually click on the symbol here and you can get all the uh, VHF frequencies. There's Billy Bishop Airport. Here's Downs View. And here's Pearson. A lot of frequencies there at Pearson.